All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to Twenty Four Sladen. Hey, it's me and Jordan. We're here, and um, we're gonna do a cold call later to uh, David because he's a. Then he said he had food poisoning, so we'll go see what's up with him. All right, so uh, me and Jordan were hanging out today. Yeah, uh, we thought we'd make a podcast with you guys and see what's happening. Yeah, because we do that every week. So, anyways, um, what's up, Jordan? How you doing? Not much. So, uh, you always tell me about like. We're just going to get yeah. into this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay. No, no. We're, yeah, we're just going to get into okay. it. Like, here, on, I, here we go. Here we go. Like, why do we always have to have, like, the formality stuff, you know? But, like... What if I don't feel like the way I'm sitting? I'm telling you, you just need seat cushions. And I did it again. That's because you got interrupted, Jordan. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jordan. It's because yeah, you're interrupting me, bro. I'm the interrupter. Uh, interrupter. But, oh, like... Go ahead. You always, like... Whenever you really want to do something... Like, this is just me as your son, always observing you. And, like, no matter how hard you really want, like, like, if you really want it to be done, you'll do whatever it takes to, like, actually get it done. So, like, I feel like your level of worth ethic is a lot different from other people. Because, like, a lot of people, they'll kind of, like, dabble in it and they'll give up. Like, kind of, like, midway through. But, like, there are... Like sometimes you do like things because like it's just within your drive, but then there's other times where you do it because it literally just bugs you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I I just let me see. I don't like to lose. <laughs> I don't like and and, I, and what I do is if I'm passionate about it, I'm put a hundred percent. And I would hope that whoever's in with me would put in the hundred percent because I'm gonna go full on mm -hmm. because I want to make it happen. It's not like. I'm gonna do if I'm gonna do something halfway and then just cut it out. I'm wasting my time. Mm -hmm. So either do it or don't do it. So that's kind of what I. I mean, that's kind of how I think it should be. But a lot of people don't have that same work drive. They put in a little bit of effort. If it doesn't work out, then you quit. And if I learned anything, you have to work and put in the work in order to get the stuff done. Mm -hmm. And it has to be a commitment. You have to do it. And if you do it halfway then you're gonna get half the stuff done, which is really gonna be nothing. Yeah. So that's when I tell you, like when, we're doing, when we were doing this, and I said, you have to do this, and this, and this, and if you don't wanna do that, let me know. Because regardless, I'm gonna do this. I said, I wanna make the podcast, <laughs> and I've been putting off, so I said, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Not, I want to, that was before. And I figured, like, finally, I need to do it. So I wanna do the podcast, but I also wanna do the other thing was, I wanna help, help people. So mm -hmm. I'm really gonna do that, and I'm getting everything together so that <clears throat> we can get the that that part to help people. So it's not just about, um, like, I do it because it bugs me. I just, if I say I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do it, or I try to, I do my best to, I put my best foot forward. Yeah. Best feet, because two of them. So I put my best feet forward. And so when we're working together, I would hope that if we're gonna be together and partners and, you know, we're gonna do it, then I would hope that everybody who does it with me or we're working together would put in the same work. Because mm -hmm. if, if they put in half the work and I put in half the work, it doesn't get done. Yeah, but like, the other like weird, the other thing that none of you understand, but I understand, I mean, like, but I see it, is that you just kind of ignore limitations, like physically or mentally. Well, if it needs to get done, I will find a way to get it done. Mm -hmm. And if anything needs to get done, like somebody, anybody, if you want it to get done, you can do it. I mean, that's how it is. If you put your mind, your effort into it, it will get done. Yeah. Everybody says, I don't have time, I don't have this. I don't have time either. Mm -hmm. But I'll learn how to code. I'll learn how to, um, I'll learn this board. I'll learn how, what I need to do to do what I need to do, even outside of whatever I'm doing. I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. I'm open. I try. If I fail, then I'll try again. Mm -hmm. But if I keep trying, then I haven't failed. Mm -hmm. I just made a mistake or I didn't get what happened done. But I'll keep going till I get it right. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going. No matter what it is, I'll do my best to make it happen. Okay. 
Like, and I hope I like instill that into my son. Like, if I can give him that same work work ethic, he could see it and, and have that same drive, then he'd be he'd be good. He can like make things happen on his own. Like when he needs a desk built or he needs some other stuff built, he'll say, "Hey, Dad, I need this done," and I'll like, "Okay, cool. Call me if you need help." Yeah, and then he gets it done. I mean, he has probably the drawer that's not found yet, but it's still most of the stuff. Most of the stuff. Where is spinning my room for like about? The, the drawer's actually still been in there like for, and it's a dresser. It's like been in there for. But see, that's what I mean. Two months. That's what I mean. If you're gonna do half the work, then oh, or no, I haven't even started. That's what I mean, but, uh, you, but I'm pretty sure, like, if I actually did start it, like, it bugged me that it isn't done. No, but that's what it is. You got. I mean, if you put your work, you put the work in. I think it, I'm well. If you put the work in. Just like there's people that I follow that I see and I, I watch do, they put the work in. Mm -hmm. I know people who have put that work in and it's gotten done. And then I know people that have the potential to do stuff and they don't put the work in. Mm -hmm. and, and they're just complaining about stuff. Mm -hmm. So either you complain and it doesn't get done or you put the work in and it gets done or you complain and put the work in and it still gets done. Mm -hmm. But either way, you have to put. But either way, I think you have to put the work in. And um, there might be people out there saying, "Well, it's, it doesn't work like that." Um, it does. The more mm -hmm. work you put in, work over talent. The talent, the work will outweigh the talent. Mm -hmm. Talent without work ethic is a waste of talent. Uh, and everybody has talent in them. So if everybody has talent, so if you just put. You have a talent for something and if you put a hundred percent or even ninety percent of work ethic into that talent then that talent will show yeah but if you just let it just we're, we're, um you just rely on the talent itself then um she's not gonna do it all right <laughs> put the work in put the work in yeah and, and also the, that's how when i started riding dirt bikes when i was little yeah I everything came pretty easy. I the everything like the whole riding part, turning the whole thing came pretty easy. I didn't put in the work like everybody else is putting in, and I suffered for it. So I fell a lot. I hurt myself a lot because I didn't put in. I didn't have that work, that drive, that what you need to keep going and going faster and faster and faster. Mm -hmm. Now. I know if I would have put in more work, I could have been champion, maybe, possibly. I could have been something more than what I was. And I'm sure a lot of people out there know like what they do. Like maybe they played baseball, they played football, played basketball. You know, they even had a job or something that they could have wanted to do, you know, mm -hmm. something, and they didn't put that work in. And you have to put work in in order to be really, to, to yeah to level up with your potential. Yeah, but you didn't like have all the resources that like everyone had, you know? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Whatever the resources I had weren't the same, but what I had was enough. The problem is I was I, I was fast enough. I didn't have the when my dad said, you need to work out harder. You need to do this, you need to do that. I was more working down on muscles and strength mm -hmm. instead of endurance endurance, and that's what I could have had. So that hurt me to do strength instead of endurance. So I'd get tired and I'd fall. I tried too hard. I fall. So that's what it was. There's no excuses. I just made the mistake. Yeah. You learn. And we learn. All of us. And you broke a lot of bones. Eh, yeah. Goes with being tired. <laughs> when you get tired, you make stupid decisions, stupid mistakes. And now I know that. It's like you're like part robot. Uh, just a little bit. What do you think you could have done in a uh, psychopath? Better. Um, I think we would have done really good when I when I did that when we did that. But I thought. Also, we should probably explain what psychopath we, is. We didn't have enough. We just didn't have enough. I didn't have enough help. I had enough help to do certain things, but the people that I needed help more help from weren't contributing. They were contributing to certain things but that wasn't the basis of it. So it was just a lot of work and a lot of effort to not get, to only get partial of what needed to be done. 
and I just I just figured I'd pull the plug mm. but only on my part so it would it would have kept going it's up to them mm -hmm. so I took my piece of the puzzle and left and there it is that's it now they can go on and do what they want to do that's all them mm -hmm. so what are you doing different here here if it's not done it's all me mm -hmm. so whatever's being done here it's all me I'm not worried about like I have help but if it's not going to get done it, I, I can't blame anybody so I'll, whatever has to be done like whether it's editing editing or um, editing or the mixing or buying or whatever it takes whatever it takes mm -hmm. I'm going to do it I'll make it happen I'll learn it so I don't have to depend on somebody else so if I need something every Tuesday and I'm not getting it every Tuesday mm -hmm. then we'll we'll get it done all right so I'll, I'll figure out how to edit I'll figure out how to whatever it takes to make this happen to get it to you people on Tuesday then I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put it together that's why I asked you are you sure you want to do it because if you're not sure then I'll do it still without you know yeah that's why I can't that's why I asked you if you want to do it you have to look at it you have to listen to it you have to do this you can't be part of something and not be part of something yeah and now you see if you get closer more and more into it then mm -hmm. you can see and yeah. I've talked to a lot of people and listened to a lot of people and working with more people the more consistent we get yeah the more consistent we get and the more work we put into it to make it get better and better and the production get better and the sound quality get better yeah. and the camera angles get better um, it'll be fine so we'll we'll make it happen we'll just have to um, keep pushing forward and that's all I can say <laughs> so I don't know I just I think we should be good we're, we'll work we'll work a little harder we'll get a little better and then Hopefully it gets better and we just gain more and more support and more and more. Not more. And better. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Right. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah. You also always complain about my generation and how we are uh, kind of lazy or uh, don't put in the effort. You don't. Mm. Actually... No, uh, it was like kind of varied. If you'd have put more effort in, it would have mm -hmm. been done faster, like you were supposed to. Yeah. If you'd have did what you were supposed to in high school, then you would have did what you had. If you'd have put in more effort, you would have been a better player on your video games. True. Yeah. Yes. Mm. The more effort you put in, the better you become. Yeah, that's kind of true. There's like. There's not kind of true. It is. Like, I could have been a bit. Like, it would have shown that I did better. If I was able to enter more, but I didn't really have, you know, the funds to do so. They I'm not going to. They could have. I'm not going to ask you guys like every, every, like three times a week for a, the, you know, $15 so I could enter. Yeah, <laughs> you could have. There was no problem. You just mm -hmm. didn't, you didn't do it. And then you didn't put in the effort to do it because you were only a top 20 or top 30 player when you needed to be a top. 10 player so if you'd ask me hey dad I need $15 to go play in the game tournament I'm like cool and then did you win no did you come which place you come and you come in the same place every time mm -hmm. then it's going to be the same then why, why are you doing it why are you doing it true I was only hitting like no. but if you'd have put in the, the work like harder work more work learn more things um, play heart, better players or find out better players characteristics all there, there's more stuff that you can learn you keep saying no it wouldn't no it wouldn't but there's people out there are way better than you I know that. And if they put in the work to be way better, way better. There's people that play like Madden. There's people that play Madden that are really, really good. Mm -hmm. They study. They know this. They know that. Because they put in a lot of work. That's why they make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They play Call of Duty. They put in a lot of work so they become a really good player. If you put in the work, you're going to be a better player. Because there's so many things on it that you think you know everything. Especially about your character. But there's probably more stuff. Or you can get a other character and play better with another character so it's always you always can do more and advance your learning to be a better 
individual, mm -hmm. not just a player, individual, better. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, no, it's not, because you always say that, because you still don't put in the effort. If you put in the <laughs> effort, then you'd see, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but, like, I feel like I'd, like, honestly, like, me not, like, excelling as a player, like, help me have more opportunities as a commentator. That's it. But if you put in more effort as a commentator, then you'd be a better commentator. The, I felt like there was like, it was a bit more than that because like, it wasn't just that because I had plenty of opportunity to like, actually excel and to be a good commentator. But like, I feel like my biggest issues were, like, I think there are two really big issues like, the. You said like, like a lot. No. Okay. Go ahead. No one really cares about that in my generation. Okay. Yeah, that's just you. All right. It's just me. Yeah, it's just you. It just bugs you. Pet peeves. But it's like, uh, I feel like, one, I think the biggest one is failure of success. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes, like, I feel like I've already worked, I'm working so hard, and then, like, I know I could do it, and I'm, like, basically there. But, like, one, you probably, like, I, I kind of get imposter syndrome. Like, I kind of don't deserve it. You know? So I make stupid mistakes. And since it's live, you can't edit those mistakes out. So you, like, say stupid things or you're, or you, like, kind of get, like, a few things mixed up. Um, I remember, like, one of my biggest ish, like, my first big issue was, when I was commentating a big major in Vegas, um, uh, I couldn't get one of the guy's names because he changed it like right before that tournament happened as a Japanese player. And his, I can't even remember his old tag, but his tag is like now Kameme is a Japanese player for Super Smash Brothers. He's like the best Mega Man player in the world at the time for Smash 4. And I couldn't get his name right. I kept saying Kamimi, whatever. Not everything that wasn't the right name. Should have called him Yum Yum. I would get immediately canceled. I already kind of got canceled. I, I think it'd been all right. Like, I low key already got canceled because I got his name wrong. Like, I got fried. I think I, I had like about. 500 people on Twitter like con like just like saying it's like oh this is the shittiest commentator I've ever seen all that that's fine and, yeah like you gotta not worry about what people are on the pe there's gonna be a lot of people talking shit but they're not doing they're still not putting the work either so they're not doing their thing they're talking on a keyboard to some about somebody who they're listening to they're still listening to you regardless mm -hmm. whether they're the shittiest in the world mm -hmm. they're still listening to you that's and they're true. commenting about it, but they're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Like they're not even doing a tournament down the street or at a at a club or whatever. Wherever they're not doing anything, but they're going to criticize what you do. Mm -hmm. Same thing for here. I know we're not the greatest, and people are going to talk sh about us that we're not great and we're not this. But we're working. We're trying. We're going to get better. We're going to get better and better and better. So I don't. I mean, nobody. No. Uh, I had like. Wait a I had three negative comments on nice. what we're doing. So nice. I mean. That's cool. I, I and I listened to him and I talked. I talked about it, but I'm still going to do what I'm going to try and do to make this better. It's not going to discourage me. So we're going to do what we have to do on on all platforms of what we're doing, and and there's going to be people who don't like it, people who think it, think negative of it. But it's it's what we do. So like this is. Let me, let me give you an example. The other day I was driving. I pulled out. I pulled out the freeway. Mm -hmm. I pull through it and there's a lady, a lady selling flowers. So the lady selling selling flowers, and there was a guy with a sign on the other side. So this side at the stoplight, there's a lady selling flowers. On this side, there's a guy with a sign, and he says, "Help me, you know, I need help." This and that. So I bought two sets of flowers from this lady, which was forty dollars. Mm -hmm. So she was going to give them to me. I said, "No, give them to that guy." And I got like a lot of my friends or people I know got mad because I gave the guy flowers. But I said, like when, when she gave him, I said, here, now you have an opportunity to make 40, 30, whatever it is. 
because mm-hmm. I don't feel right giving him money, but not giving her money. Mm-hmm. So instead of giving him money just to give money and giving her money to buy flowers, she was actually doing something like selling something to get money. He's just asking for money. So I gave an opportunity. Same thing if you give somebody a fish they eat for a day, teach them how to fish, you know, they, they eat for a lifetime. So that's the thing. People have different perceptions of what you do. Mm-hmm. And it could be, it's it's a perception. So what everybody, anybody thinks, what we think, what you think, what like everybody who comes on here, they're going to have their own opinion. And we're going to let them talk and give their opinion. If you don't like their opinion, oh well. That's their opinion. You have your own opinion. You have your opinion that you don't like them. Mm-hmm. And then somebody has an opinion that they like them. So that's how life is. And hopefully we can all just work through it and have fun and just keep going. And if anybody out there has an opinion and they want to bring it up, let me know. And we can either call you and we'll get you on and then you can talk and go on and get mad and, or be happy or whatever, whatever your opinion is and we can do things. So you DM me on 24slayton.com or you DM me at 24slayton on Instagram, on Twitter, or on Facebook and then we'll get back to you. Mm-hmm. But if that's what you guys want to do, fine. But we're going to keep going and we're going to put the work ethic. This guy will keep putting his work ethic in to do, become a better player and if you see him on... Um, I don't really like try anymore. Oh, he don't try. I'm see? like low-key retired. See? Are you trying to be a... You, you trying to be like the best writer in the world still? I do. Like, I, I'm not trying... To, my thing now writing, it's for... To get rid of... To get away from... I ride to get away from reality. Mm-hmm. It's a dangerous way to get away from reality. <laughs> but I go riding to... Because I can clear my head. It's just me and the bike and the track and different dirt every lap. So I just go around the track and have fun, and it for me it, it's a way to it's a way to um, reset for the next whenever I do whatever I work or whatever I'm doing. So mm-hmm. I get to clear my head, I get to have fun. I'm not thinking about anything but me and riding, and then it's all fun until I fall, and then it's not fun no more. But sometimes it's still fun, and that's why I do. That's why I ride. See. So I don't play anymore because like I want to be the best because I honestly don't have as much enjoyment like playing the game as I did before because it's just a lot different and it's but I I still kind of like enjoy playing like time to time I like playing for fun so I kind of it's I feel like I like want to help out the community because I feel like it helped me out so what I do is like there's always like new players coming in and I always kind of see them just like playing around like they they genuinely want to be better but they're new they have a lot of the bad habits and like they just need a little guidance so like usually like when I play against them I still have I've been playing the game for six years as compared to most of them like they just kind of like started like getting in their first tournaments here and there I would just say I like and when they would practice against me, usually I'd give them the hands because I'm better, but it's only because like I know a bit more than them. But like I'll just give them all of my notes. Like I like I won't hide anything. I'll like I feel like I just rather than me trying to improve myself, I just want to like help everyone get better and like have the game. I like just have everyone enjoy it like to a level where. They feel like they're improving or and like not just the players but like the tournament owners themselves like i i still work with my local like uh game guys uh in arcadia california land hero and uh i help commentate for them like i don't really have to i just do it because i like one, it kind of gets me out of the house. So, and then the other thing is like, I like David. He's my he's my friend. So I just want to help him out. And like, I feel like that is the Smash community is still kind of my community. 
and even though like most of my friends are like kind of like in the, the other areas like they were more closer to Pomona where I went to school and where I played initially I still have like like I still have friends that like were in uh, the 818 area or in 66 or in San Diego because those were mainly the places I played at so like it's not really for me it's more like I just want to help everyone else out beautiful <laughs> I like that well that's good though that's good I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying yourself Jordan yeah. you need to have a your hobby is great yeah that's what it is right hobby now yeah it's not just a hobby let's call what do you think want to call Shaky Bones we could let's yeah. see let me text him see if he's a uh, we, we don't want to complete call tall <laughs> not, not crapping himself oh uh, yeah <laughs> okay I think I can call him am I hooked up so um so what have you been doing George what have I been doing yeah except repeating me Oh, I kind of, I always want to say that I'm not doing anything. And then I really like look at it in the grand scope of things and I have done things. Like, I wanted to go see the Raiders. Oh, nice. I wanted to go see Iron Maiden. So David. I know. That's and then good. after you telling me that, I was like, now when, it, now when he answers the phone, I got to tell him. I was at the Iron Maiden concert too. <laughs> you guys are both at the Iron Maiden concert. He's not going to answer. No, he... Our call has been forwarded to an. <laughs> no, he rock he rockstarred us. He rockstarred you. <clears throat> He's playing already for this whole that, thing. That's going to be a. That should be a a term that we should just. That should be a T-shirt actually. Yeah. All right. We'll work <laughs> on it. So okay. So then since Shaky Bones kind of blew us off here. We'll just, uh, I guess we'll end it there and we'll come back later and um, probably like Monday, next Monday or next Tuesday, I mean, and we'll uh, get back. Anyways, um, also, <clears throat> let me get back to this. I don't know if anybody listens to the end of the video because they probably listen to me on my first two minutes and then get over me. But um, uh, we're 24 Slayton, us in general, we're trying, what we're going to do is if you know anybody in need that needs some help, we're going to start feeding families. So if you know anybody who like needs some help, not just during the holidays, but we're going to try once a month for right now, and then we'll go beyond that to maybe mm -hmm. like once every other week. Uh, we're going to supply a meal and maybe you know, a gift card so they can go to the grocery store and buy some more stuff. Um, just DM us and let us know. So hit us up on... Um, you can hit, hit me up on timslane.com or tim at 24slane.com. Mm -hmm. You can hit us at info at 24slane.com. Um, they all work. So let us know a family that you guys think would be like in the San Gabriel Valley, and then we'll work farther. But right now, we're just going to go San Gabriel Valley or maybe East LA. Um, that should be pretty decent for right now, and then we'll help people out. So let us know, and um, like and subscribe, and thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. um, Tim, 24 Slayton, this is... Jordan. 24 uh, Slayton. Uh, all right, everybody, thanks a lot, and um, we're out. Thank you.